There is also the matter of compensation for the breach of their rights, which the Court of Appeal ordered, sent back to the High Court to be reassessed. I should point out uh, for completeness that the gas companies, Gas Tomzan, Western Energy and the others, also argued that other fundamental rights were breached, like the right to freedom of association and equality of law. The Court of Appeal said no, those were not breached. And the $10 million awarded by the High Court, the Court of Appeal found that there was not sufficient evidence of that. It wasn't properly pleaded, so it has to be. Damages has to be reassessed, meaning done over. And I think if I was to attempt to distill it into one significant thing, it's that that requirement, that onerous, impossible to reach requirement of having to have a storage facility of 1.5 million US gallons to be able to import LPG has been deleted from the law. Your clients are now free to exercise their business rights. Uh, well, uh, assuming there is no appeal, uh, appeal uh, okay, assuming there is yeah. no appeal. Yeah. But will they get, are they assured of getting a permit? And I know the court cannot order an authority to give them a permit, mm -hmm. but they still don't have a permit to sell wholesale um, LPG in Belize. Yes, they will have to apply, whoever wishes to continue to, I think one of them went out of business, I think it's Southern Choice Beauty. And there were four claimants at the very beginning of the case. One went out of business because of the introduction of that requirement. Um, if the three wish to continue in the business of importing LPG, yes, they're going to have to apply for a permit. And yes, it's possible that a government can deny you a permit. But it can't be for any arbitrary, oppressive reason. It has to be for a good reason, especially because these companies were in the business before for many, many years.